it started just to want to give this to the community, you know, and that's, we take pleasure, I take pleasure in that. And, yeah, and because it was something we loved and wanted everyone else to share that love. The first mission is to bring the art form to the community at lower prices than they, than they can afford to go to, into the city. Then the second mission is to provide a platform for young singers to get started on an operatic career. And the third one is to educate young people, children, to learn the art form that probably they don't even know about until somebody presents it to them. People were pushing to get in, and I told them, there's no more room, you can't get in, I can't fit any more people. The orchestra kept getting larger. We kept arguing with the conductor, who said, I need to have, you know, more pieces. They knew rock and roll, and they knew all this other music, but their parents never told them, maybe one or two, that knew what is opera. <laughs> opera is a story that's put to music, and basically the singers take a part of a, a character in the story. Opera tantalizes all the senses and, and that's why we have costumes and sets and an orchestra. It's just an exciting artistic venue that's all-encompassing. I know a lot of people who've, yes. who, who've come to ours and they said, you know, thank you so much. I've never seen an opera. Now I'm going to come more often because until they see one, they don't understand what it's all about. They already owe opera. Well, the first one I think Francisco. of, I, I was just going to say Francisco, Francisco. Uh, he started with a, was my uh, Pinkerton and Butterfly in 1987. And then the next year he was on Alfredo. And when we heard him, oh. I mean, it was just such a heavenly voice. Now he has his own company. He was at the Met for eight years. My feeling is I want people of all ages to come to see the opera. We want children to come and enjoy the music and enjoy the, the, the story. We even now have super titles, which we didn't have for many years because we couldn't afford it. Now we have the super titles and children who are able to read know what, they're, what the people are saying. It's enjoyable for all age groups. We are close and we are accessible and a lot of elderly people who could no longer travel into the city appreciate that. She's saying uh, she's gonna one day it's gonna happen where I'll see him from the from the ship. Right. 
and, and then she says in, in the aria, as he's coming, I'll get excited, I, but I won't be able to say much. And will I meet him? Well, no, I'll wait till he calls me. And then when he calls me on the hill, then we'll meet. And then it will be the happiest, it'll be the happiest day of my life.